Hello everybody, in this video I will show you how to use abbreviations to write Java code rapidly using NetBeans. So the first abbreviation is to allow us to print system out println. So we have to type s out, then tabulation. And it is replaced by system out println. We can add some text here. The next abbreviation is if. It allows us to obtain the full if statement. So we have to type if then tabulation. The next abbreviation is if e, which allows us to obtain the if else statements. We have to type if e then tabulation and we obtain the full statement. Now the next abbreviation is for, so we have to type tabulation and we obtain the full uh, statement. So if we want to modify the name of the i variable, we have to modify it one time when, when it is selected and all the repetitions of this i will be uh, modified. So let's call it count. And as you can see, the name of the variable has been modified uh, every time there is i. The next abbreviation is to obtain the while statement. So we have to type wh then tabulation, and that's it. The next tabulation, uh, the next uh, abbreviation is do while. So we have to type do, then tabulation, and we obtain the full statement. Now the next abbreviation is to obtain the switch statements. We, uh, we have to type SW, then tabulation, and that's it. So let's modify the name of the variables. So here we have one single case. If we want to add a new case, we can use the CS abbreviations. We have to type CS, then tabulation, and we have a new case. Let's call it case two. But as you can see, my code is not formatted correctly. So to format it, I can go to source, then format. And as you can see, now my source code is formatted correctly. So the next abbreviation is try catch. So I have to type try catch, then tabulation. And that's it. As you can see, try catch is a long word. I can create a new abbreviation for try catch and call it just try. So to see the different abbreviations available and to create a new abbreviation, we have to go to tools then options, then uh, I can, I have to select editor, then I have to click on code templates, and here I have the list of all the available templates. So the, the this is the try catch abbreviation that I used. I can take a look on the different available abbreviations. I can take a look for the for abbreviation, for example. And this is the list of all the available abbreviations. So I said in my case, I want to create a new abbreviation for the try catch statement. So I will click on new, then I will call the abbreviation try, then okay. And here I will add the try catch statement. Now I have to click on OK. And now I can use this abbreviation that I have created. So I type try then tabulation and that's it. Now the last abbreviation is main and it allows us to obtain the public static void main. Thank you for uh, watching. I hope that this video is useful for you. Please subscribe to the channel.